hello guys uh, let's see how we can offer the gift wrapping in checkout extensibility uh, using the checkout ui extension and the card transform api so for example if uh, we have a wrapping option for a product we'll show a checkbox like this and when the user will click we can see currently the price is uh, 1025 and after clicking the checkbox we can see uh, a gift wrapping is added uh, to the item and uh, we can see both uh, the item and the gift wrapping are merged and uh, in the title we can see we can see that the uh, the name of the uh, product plus gift wrapping and now we can see the product uh, the price uh, is updated to 1050 initially it was 1025 so for example uh, we have uh, this gift wrapping and its price is 25 and uh, this is the product on which we are offering the gift wrapping so in this product we have assigned a product that we are offering uh, as a gift wrap we have assigned and this product as a gift wrap so uh, in our checkout when the user uh, clicks the checkbox the gift wrapping is added and the price is updated on the front end and also when the user clicks uh, we can see uh, this is unmerged and also after unmerging we are uh, deleting uh, that item from the cart okay so let's see again 1025 currently we have 1025 and uh, when we select the gift wrapping so uh, a new gift wrapping is added and uh, we can customize this title according to our needs and uh, here we have uh, we can see uh, with the help of card transform api we are merging both the items under one title and one price and uh, when the user uh, checks this box again the gift wrap is uh, deleted we are unwrapping and deleting the item so let's see how we can achieve this first of all we are uh, using a, a checkout we are using a checkout ui component to create this checkbox so let's see here is our code base so in the extensions uh, in the extensions we can see we have two extensions so one is add to add the gift wrap so this is checkout ui extension and uh, we are rendering this checkout ui extension after the line item so here we are uh, checking that uh, we here here we are checking like uh, if the product has a gift wrap we are getting the gift wrap uh, from the meta field and uh, we are getting the gift wrap from the meta field of the product and uh, here uh, underneath we can see if we have if the product has a wrapping id uh, we are uh, rendering this checkbox and uh, on clicking the checkbox we can see we have this function handle uh, gift wrapping and uh, if the product is already wrapped so it means that the user want to uh, remove gift wrap so first of all we can see right here we are using an attribute of underscore merge we are using this underscore merge in our card transform function so let's see uh, in this card transform function in the run.graphql we are getting this underscore merge and uh, from here we can see uh, we will be uh, getting the variants to merge uh, and uh, this will be stored right in the underscore merge attribute of the card in, in the card transform api we are uh, using a merge operation and uh, if it will only merge the item uh, if we have uh, this variant id into uh, the uh, merge attribute of the card in the checkout uh, in the checkout ui extension so first of all we uh, remove this merge and uh, then uh, we check if there is no merge uh, we remove the wrapping id or if the if the variant id is not included uh, in this merge attribute we also remove uh, that gift wrapping so this is just uh, for the demo purpose so there uh, may be some edge cases and uh, some technicalities other technicalities but for now uh, this seems uh, working uh, for the basic use cases one more thing like if the store is already using uh, this card transform uh, we will not be able to create the second card transform we have created this card transform so this is coming from uh, this app uh, we can see the gift wrap and if we want to create some other uh, card transform let's see so let's uh, try to create a card transform from an uh, other function here uh, let's try to uh, create a card transform using the function id from an other app so you can see an error an api client cannot have more than one card, card transform functions per show so I'm not sure that if we are able to create more than one card transforms per shop. So I hope uh, this helped a little bit. See you later. Bye bye.